Okay, let's move on towards the spawn selection then. We're going to be seeing WIN versus AVG today. So it's going to be CN versus Southeast Asia. We're going to be seeing Win, BZKY, Anjo, K Zinc, and XMM. It's going to be no rescuer team comes surprisingly, but Aeroplane is going to be there for the rescuer. And it seems like they wanted to counter this opera singer, but we're going to come out with a Dream Witch instead, and we're going to have to see how this goes. Now, overall, for this type of team comp for Dream Witch, Sandwiching is for the best. Stuff rescuing is also really good for Dream Witch here as well. So we're just gonna have to see how the survivor plays this one out. But overall, here from HVG's Hunter side, 72S, 72S, Dream Witch coming out here. Definitely an S Bass Dream Witch here, knowing the fact that uh, they decided to opt out for Dream Witch here first and foremost. But also, also with the fact that like no one here actually counters patroller unless they brought flywheel which is a little bit hard on that side as well but of course this is going to be caster's tourney for the Ma mainers new year event we're going to move on straight towards the game and hopefully you'll be enjoying this as well as we can see here this is going to be southeast asia versus cn's first team or second team i don't know but uh character selection wise this is what we could see i don't know about the persona points but off uh, anyways Probably should be moving on towards the game fairly soon here. Okay, we're going to be seeing 72S here. Spawning just by Geisha. We're going to go straight towards middle here. BZKY immediately decoding that Cypher machine. Knowing that it's a Dream Witch though may not be the best course of action here. But also, we do need to realize that Gardner 50 second bubble here is quite crucial here. Especially against the Dream Witch. It, it is actually not too bad. Now, Persona side, we're going to be seeing Trump card detention with uh, Max Hunt here. And seeing from both... I won't lie with you, right? Seeing from um, seeing from the camera side from the hunter and the survivor, it seems like they're playing on PC here. So this is this seems like it's gonna be a PC queue. But of course, Gardner in here is still trying to rotate towards the nearest pallet area. The follower has been pulled quite a little bit of distance away here as well. But it seems like for 72s here, he's wasting quite a bit of time trying to look for this Gardner. And Gardner not having the D-Leech mark just yet. We are going to be seeing Lawyer being uh the next chase here immediately. It's gonna be patroller down to immediately. Okay, that's fairly fine oh, we're gonna have the main follower coming up here immediately meanwhile we are going to be facing a little bit of a problem did it get a hit right there that's a very nice vault over but sadly from uh lawyer side that vault over wasn't fast enough but we do see as well how fast this lawyer can run right after that vault over but of course bzky here gardener has to be a little bit careful preferably we want to meet up with um aeroplane is to delete that but also at the same time, uh, it just depends on when Dreamwitch, I think it's the moment Dreamwitch leeches that, yeah, it's, it's when Dreamwitch decides to leech, leech the lawyer, that's when we can actually start the leeching. So we do see here as well on the bottom hand side, one of the followers is gone, but of course from lawyer side, lawyer is doing a really good job here. Now the sandwich situation is nothing that we can deal against, but also on that side, the vault over here, a little bit unfortunate. Preferably we would want to get rid of the dream which is leech right there, but even with that on mind here as well, we do see that it's barely three cipher machines, but it is two minutes in towards the game right now as well. From both hunters and survivor side, this is this is generally speaking more favorable to the survivors right now. Two reasons, one minute and a half later, accelerated decoding is gonna start, and um we're gonna be seeing an aeroplane is coming to rescue who basically is immune to a patroller's bite so xmm immediately going up towards hover mode right here we're going to come in with a uh, no that well not no damage rescue but quite a normal before half rescue two and a half cypher machine done right here we don't have patroller anymore until four seconds left but even with the next patroller bite here it's going to be four seconds under the next patroller bite but of course preferably here we would want to give the leeches but with lawyers um window well not window pallet speed boost right there we are going to be able to pull towards straight towards that corner and for lawyers type being able to ro ro rotate towards the two windows one pallet here near geisha is fairly nice because even with that patroller being deployed down right here there isn't that much of a leeway for lawyer to play around but if lawyer is able to rotate towards that window then that's kind of brilliant not understanding why 72s here deciding to cancel the patroller by there because even with um if we did manage to buy the uh, buy the lawyer there, lawyers lead should be able to catch up immediately to get that hitch. But we see here as well on Anjo's side, he is currently talking to his teammates. They're in the same. They're definitely in the same room. Remember, but we did manage to get down that pallet brilliantly done. So Ali didn't really cancel the dog bite right there. But since this is quite a long pallet area here, we do also have flywheel. But it seems like it's currently our third dog. So two bites is going to be the max we can get from this patroller spice for 72s here. He's going to be very important for him to be able to get that um 
it's gonna be very important for him to be able to get that blink out sooner or later here we do see that Anjo's the lawyers Lee Ming Leech is here we're gonna be able to fly wheel away here knowing that it's no borrow time from the lawyer side for uh survivors here overall they're doing a really good job but lawyer second chair here second chair here seems like it's a little bit bad seems like blink hasn't been used just yet but maybe 72s here wants to wait for a teleport mayhaps perhaps but of course, with a 99% Cypher machine there, preferably we wouldn't want Gardner to come into rescue is what I do believe. Because Gardner can at least guarantee a no damage rescue with her bubble here. Or even or even just to cancel a blink hit or even a detention hit with her bubble. You can think about it that way as well. But it seems like we're going to be able to see Gardner coming in. Wanting to get the body blocker, so Ali's a little bit unfortunate that we managed to get the hit on towards Lloyd right there immediately. Very beautiful palace stone on the other hand. And we see that Anjo. So Lawyer's making a little bit of a mistake here. Preferably we would want Lawyer to run a little bit further away because this is currently lawyer's leech that's currently on garden right now so with uh trump card ready to go as so well we can blink down here immediately and uh lawyer made a quite a bit of mistake here lawyer did make quite a bit of mistake here probably running towards the corner near where dash uh locker was would have been the best idea here but still for 72 s aside we are going to congratulate this tie from um avg's dream which then of course let's move on towards second half here Let's see here, we're gonna have WIM Happy Louser coming out against AVG Survivor. We're gonna be able to see uh, Eli o and uh, Nello here. So, two of our, well, English community ID VTubers. But of course, we're gonna be seeing Moby as well. I think Moby is more a uh, TH main based streamline. Uh, caster and Shushu as well on towards the EM based caster. But anyways, we're gonna be seeing Happy Lossy here coming out as Opera Singer spawning by Schoolgate here. Survivor Team Comp boys, it's quite it's quite it's it's okay, but it's a little bit slow on the decoding side. We're gonna be seeing mercenary coordinator psychologist and of course the lawyer against an opera singer here. I guess the biggest issue here is going to be probably the uh, uh, not the opera singer, sorry, the coordinator. Coordinator being first chase here is definitely gonna be very viable. But even with that on hand as well, chasing after a lawyer is gonna be pretty hard, even for an opera singer who can't find him unless it's quenching effect alongside with teleport. But then again, you, we all know that Lawyer can retreat straight towards Graveyard whenever he needs to do so as well. So like with the with the with the with the with the current stay opera singer after her nerf, even chasing after a lawyer here in graveyard, especially with the fact that lawyer gets to vault windows on pilots much faster as well, uh, the more the more he vaults. That is going to be a little bit of a scary factor here for Happy Louses, but we're going to be going with a trunk card detention here alongside with uh, Max Pilot Breaking, Max Destruction and alongside with Panic. But of course, we're going to be able to find Nello here immediately, who is the mercenary. If we're able to get a little bit of a mercenary away, that is fine. But uh, it seems like seems like first chase here being mm, first chase here being no. We're going to go back here immediately. Oh, never mind. We managed to cut the hash the mercenary off card here. Mercy being able to force out first elbow pad immediately as well. But as we do see here, it is coming a PC opera singer but even with that on mind pc opera singer here would you see that mellow you need to look no okay no no not trying to make fun but you can see on nello's face how much he's concentrated right now um Anyways, aside from that, that's going to be the third level pop being utilized right here. It's currently 50 seconds in towards the game right now, but Shadow Dance is still ready to go on the other side. Happy Lots on the other hand, though, on PCQ. PCQ Opera Singer is a brilliant. I can only play Opera Singer on PCQ, Lamont, but even with that on mind as well, we are going to be able to dash in immediately. A second cooldown here. Well, not cooldown. A second mini tight turning here on towards Nello Mello there. But we're not going to be seeing anyone nearby right now except for the coordinator being near school gauge trying to open that cypher machine. But even with that on mind as well, survivors are game rotation wasn't bad but with this early game rotation here's 80 seconds by the time that we actually managed to share the mercenary cypher machine still isn't enough in this situation as well knowing that there's only one tight turner here which is a little bit unfortunate sadly lawyer couldn't actually well no one here actually could have been able to bring an extra tight turner we are going to be able to get the hit on towards Eli Ola right there but it seems like for the survivors right now selling probably would be the better option here for them unless they want the lawyer to come to rescue we are going to be able to see lawyer come in right now but even if lawyer does come in we're going to be seeing, able to see that flywheel but with that flywheel that flywheel may be indicating that this lawyer does not have window speed boost but happy decides to blink out here immediately it fails to dash initially um on towards the shadow realms but even with that in mind nano being cornered right here mercenary a little bit of a ufus Ufu, doofus moment we are going to be able to get the double pallet here being broken out immediately especially with opera singer here bring max destructiveness it is what it is at the end of the day but of course nano still trying to hide in there by the thin tread but sadly this ice is going to melt away by the passionate harsh 
of Opera Singer. Mm, we're going down towards the corner here is definitely one of the better ideas, but sadly we are still close towards this chair, which is a little bit unfortunate. Even if we do give the extra hit right there, it is fine, considering the fact that Opera Singer is currently at max health. Now then, with that in mind, we are going to be able to see around, this is around two and a half side for machines done right now from the survivor side. We do see that Lawyer has currently used up selfie. We do know that Lawyer is currently giving as much details towards his survivors as possible in order for them to uh, be able to get towards the chair. But this gun is going to be very important here coming from Eli's side. We're going to be able to get the normal hit right there, but it seems like Cordy should be able to make it towards the chair here immediately. The gun here is going to be quite crucial as we do see as well. The gun was not blocked, but it was a nice try right here from happy Lao he knows what he knows what he wanted there he definitely knew that that was gonna happen but sadly just a little bit fast on opera singer side just a little bit too fast on opera singer side right there we're gonna be able to charge that hit down here immediately now then with basically two 50 percent cypher machines remaining right here mercenary is gonna be returned back to the main right here but even with that in mind as well yeah uh yen community psychaster has been doing very well here well we're going to be seeing this half cypher machine. The tie game is 100% guaranteed here from AVG survivor side. Uh, but even with that in mind right now, what are we seeing? We know that Lawyer doesn't have... Um, well, maybe Happy Lawyer doesn't know that Lawyer ha doesn't have borrow time. But I think it's quite easily predicted that they don't have borrow time. Especially with the fact that it is a Lawyer at the end of the day. Now, we are going to be able to see the survivors opening extra cypher machine here. We are going to be seeing uh, Lawyer and Cordy. No, Lawyer and Psychologist being in the same area right now, but Psychologist also did use her whistle initially for coordinating here. Cordy getting in an extra rugby ball, but even with this extra rugby ball here, we're going to be able to, to shadow dance out, but with 12 seconds remaining on the clock here, we do know which Cypher Machine is shaking, so at least for half he lost it right now, he knows himself when to teleport when needed as well. But seeing that Shushu is nearby as well, Sally wasn't be able to get the uh, heal right there. That's going to be a very beautiful palette mind game, but even with this beautiful palette mind game here, we are are going to want to look for Moby here immediately. Psychologist on a little bit of a bad area right now. We're going to be able to Shadow Strike and Shadow Dance straight initially towards the next area, but even with that in mind, Sally, no tire shock here was registered. Moby being very, very, very patient right there as well. Going to be able to get the TP back here initially as well. And then with 92% on towards that Cypher Machine, we are going to be able to charge straight towards the basement here. Happy. Happy loves the basement. Okay, Happy decides not to basement here, which is not the best idea, but we're going to pop here immediately from the survival side um this is where we say let them cook because dungeon is definitely at the other side uh well dungeon is currently at school gate right now but we do need to realize that even if you want to do this it's still an opera singer at the end of the day shadows dance is 100 ready to go as well but it seems like we do realize where the coordinator is right now coding having half a ball here remaining we're gonna be able to tp back here immediately but even with that on mind there as well we did lose the tonight is there so happy has to be very careful right here we're most likely trying to bait the coordinator into coming out here and we want to slug the psycho here that's definitely what i believe anyway but with a shadow strike out sally we didn't get a hit right there immediately but with this charge attack hit there goes down the psychologist psycho going down here immediately where do we see we do see that we're going to be able to get a rescue before half there from coordinator but on this side right now survivors have to run but where can they run is the brilliant question because we are currently near the exit dash a psychologist was trying to open but even with that on my psycho here could definitely give the location of where opera singer is 24 7 here as well but since opera singer isn't too fast we do know that lawyer is slung towards the other side of the map right now but can we get the base here on towards the Cordy into coming out is a great question. We do know that teleport is ready in 15 seconds, but with this teleport ready in 15 seconds, still an issue though. We're going to be able to get a TP back here immediately. We don't have tonight is here just yet, but it seems like uh, Moby did give the location of Opera Singer here immediately. We're going to be able to find Eli O here, but sadly with 30 seconds remaining on the clock, we can we see the dungeon drop is a really good question, but with a TP coming out here immediately, we get a dash, we get a hit over. Sally Lawyer wasn't able to vault that fast enough, but even with that online here as well, we do have a coordinator currently having half a ball remaining, so that's still okay here. Cordy not putting half a ball here is a little bit. Cordy has, yeah, Cordy definitely has to pull half a ball there immediately. But even with that half a ball pulled right there immediately as well, this is still not pressing at the end of the day. That is a 66% side formation. We do have charge strike ready as well, but in this tight narrow space for an opera singer, this is going to be quite hard there. Moby still trying to get that exit gate as open as fast as he can. But you know what? This is 
This is Eli. Eli wasn't able to get towards the gate, right? They're a little bit unfortunate, but we also do know that we can't break one of the pallets here. But we do manage to find where Psychologist is right now. Psycho trying to look for the dungeon location here, but of course, the survivors definitely know where the dungeon is. Dropping down the pallet there immediately, which isn't that much of a bad look. But even with that on mind here, there's nowhere that the Psychologist can go right here because it's all really just a suffocation game here. From the opera singer said, We did get a new launch. Ah, it's a slow vault. 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 But after getting pallet break right there, we're going to be seeing the tree man animation here coming from happy since well happy loss so i guess i do have to respect the uh, cns i mean i am cn too but you know what i mean uh okay we're gonna be able to get a tp back here immediately but even with that on mind as well uh they probably do want to come into rescue but coming to rescue here is gonna be a little bit hard especially with the fact that when cory comes in retro into rescue both survivors will be a half health so may just end up as a four man Excuse me, for my elimination, I choked there. And let's congratulate here a really nice game from AVG Survivor side. But once again, let's congratulate WIN Happy Lousy here for the three man elimination. Moving on to our second half.